welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy and it is September 1st and I'm going to try and do something just a little bit different um, for the next month. Uh, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, and it may be too, too much for me to keep going. I don't know. Um, I am just trying to figure things out and figure out where I'm at, where I want to be, and how to get there. So, everybody knows that we own a farm. Um, we live a different kind of lifestyle. Um, you have to excuse me. I was late getting my shower so my hair is still wet. Um, we do rescue. We do a little gardening. I try gardening. It doesn't help. But anyway, um, if you followed us for very long at all, you know that um, I have a love of Mustangs. And my goal is to go back to riding. Now, I have a lot of obstacles in my way. The very first one is my weight. Um, no, I'm not huge. And yes, I've already lost uh, 12 pounds in about it's been months okay so it's not like it's great but I want to see the first part of June was when I started noticing it coming off so June July August so three months um, I've lost about 12 pounds uh, I'm okay with that and I'm okay with it going slow but the problem is, is that you cannot weigh, or you shouldn't weigh. I've seen people do it. It's not healthy for the horse. It's not healthy on you. Um, it's not right to ask the horse to carry more than 20% of its own body weight. That includes the weight of the saddle and all that kind of stuff. Um, Precious and Star are the two horses that, Precious is going to be my practice horse, but my goal is to ride Star. Now, Star is not dead broke, and she is not something that I want to get on after not riding for 30 years. Um, I have done groundwork. I break and train, but we didn't get into training horses um, really heavy. I mean, I trained them for my own personal use, and that was about it. Um, we didn't get into training them hot and heavy until RJ was older and then he could ride. So I didn't have to. Um, I did all the groundwork, it was amazing. And I, I think Ned was the last horse I rode. So, and I guess it's only been about 25 years because Tori was like four or five. So it's probably only been 25 years. Anyway, in order to do that, I have to start keeping track of some things that I need to do. Um, the first thing that I'm going to show you is this is how I live my daily life. Oh, sorry. And as you can tell, I can't really keep my fingers out of it. Um, I know you can't see that, but it's a schedule. I get up every morning, and I don't even have to read this much anymore except to figure out what my daily task is. Um, between 5 and 6, I get up, get around, take my shower, um, do devotional. It's my hour, okay? Then I lead off with dishes. I do the kitchen floor. I have to sweep them off this concrete floor every day or it's nasty. Um, then I go in and either start a load of laundry or switch out, whatever. If I've started it earlier or if I ran one at night because it's cool, um, and I don't want to heat up the house, I switch it out, whatever. So I take a few minutes and do some laundry, switch it out. Today, my one thing is decluttering. So all the things like, I don't know if you can see this, on the bar, everything gets set on the bar, okay? That's an apple tree, that's RJ's Mountain Dew, a uh, bottle of water got left. So pretty much it's just kind of a decluttering, go through, get everything put back where it goes. Um, it is what it is. I don't get a whole lot done on it, but I have tomorrow, which is general pickup, and the two kind of just run together. So, um, then at 8 o'clock, I go out, bottle feed any bottle calves we have. Um, 
<clears throat> when I come back from that, I normally come back to drop off the bottle to get the trash and I will switch out the laundry again. And then from there, after I start the trash, I'll go down to the garden. Then I'll come back up here and at about nine o'clock, I try to get the goats. Um, it's more like 9.30, you know, just because my schedule's off a little bit. Uh, milk the goats. Then I'm supposed to do the wool and clean up that barn out there and then gather the eggs. Guess what hasn't been being done? <laughs> I have got that top part down. Lickety split can get through all of that in one morning. And that is all before 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock comes and everything just kind of goes. So <clears throat> I'm going to try to get back to tumbling and washing wool. And all that is, is I go out and I'll tumble one fleece, you know, make sure that it's ready for the bath. I'll get one in the bath, switch them out, and I'll have one rinsing, one bathing, and one tumbling, and one drying all at the same day. And I just rotate through them. Um, and I haven't been getting that done. So I'm really kind of disappointed in myself because I really want to get that done. And I'll go on spurts, and I'll get a bunch of it done, and then nothing. And then a bunch of it done, and then nothing. So anyway, and then... The gathering of the eggs ends up getting done sometime during the day. It just doesn't get done when I need it done. Um, like today, that's all done before lunch. Um, it's supposed to be anyway. And then like from 11 to 1 is whatever. Now remember, if anybody shows up at 10 for uh, farm visits or whatever, this is put on hold. This is not set in stone. It's just everything I try to accomplish in the morning, all my daily chores. If I can get them done in the morning, then I have the afternoon to deal with whatever. Um, then, after that, I normally get, oh, excuse me. I normally can get that done by 11. And then, from 11 to 12, I'm doing whatever. Eating lunch. A lot of times I don't eat lunch. Making my tea. Just whatever. Switching out the pig. Um, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, at 1 o'clock, I try to choose one chore and get it done. Um, today is Friday, and every Friday I scrub the water troughs, except during the winter. On Saturdays, I try to do, like, some cheese or soaps. Just deal with the extra milk is what that is. Um, on Sunday, I try to get some spinning, some something with product done. Um, I've got a ton of stuff to do and nothing to do it. Monday, I don't have anything set because Lee is off on Mondays. And if you know my husband, you know that he's supposed to take medication, and he isn't. Uh, he went back to the doctor, and he did really good for about 30 days because he had a follow-up appointment. Then when she changed his medicine, he only took it for like 10 days afterwards, and it's off of it again. So, yeah. Um... Anyway, Wednesday's my mowing day. Uh, Thursday, I like to go to the cattle sales and see if there's anything there that needs us. Um, then, let's see here. On um, Friday, water troughs, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, the other thing that changes is like today's decluttering. Um, I do one thing a day, like today is decluttering. Um, tomorrow is just kind of general pickup. Sunday I try to keep open to make up for anything I haven't done in the week. Uh, Mondays I have to dust. Tuesdays I have to clean up the kitchen. Thank you, rascal. Wednesday I vacuum the entire house. Thursday I clean the bathroom. Um, just kind of stuff like that to keep everything nice and presentable, I guess. So I do live off of this. Um, it's a schedule, and when I first started doing it, um, I uh, had to look at it a lot. Now I don't. But there's two other things that I'm going to add. And number one is, you know, I want to lose weight because I want to ride my Mustang. Um, that is my goal. Um, and I'm going to do it. And I'm not saying I'm going to event with her or rope ride, any of that stuff. I just want to be able to go out and 
do a little pasture riding. Um, check the cattle. Bring up the cattle. You know, exercise RJ's horses. Stuff like that. But in order to do that, um, I need to start being more aware because to lose up 12 pounds, I just kind of, um, I started infusing my tea with mint, which helps rejuvenate. I switched to herbal teas, um, nothing major, anything. So yesterday, just an example, and don't judge my handwriting, please. I wrote down everything that I ate. Now, this is not good. I stopped at, yesterday was a horrible day, so. I stopped and picked me up a 32 ounce pop. I ate four cheese sticks, one lifesaver. Um, some of those little cheese nibbles, cheese bits, cheese it cracker things. And then um, I had tea. And then at about 10.30 I realized I hadn't eaten anything and I went and made myself a cheese omelet. Um, these were things, the four cheese sticks were the most balanced thing I ate and RJ made cheese sticks for lunch and he kept handing me them. So I ended up eating like four. As I'd go through, he'd just stick one out and I'd eat it and off I'd go. Um, so yeah, today is September 1st. It is um, 8.30 and I still haven't eaten anything yet. So hence the empty thing. I'm hoping to be able to make improvements. I'm not saying I'm gonna make big, I'm not dieting. Um, I'm not gonna make huge changes, but like, um, I am trying new things. Uh, instead of chips, I have dehydrated some zucchini. Like you slice it, slice up the young zucchini, dehydrate them and eat them with your dip. So um, I kinda like them. I gotta find out some more vegetables to do that with because they're kind of amazing. Then I have this planner, okay? So this one is just about my food, being more aware, more conscious, and eating better. It's not that I overeat, it's that I don't eat the right kinds of foods. So, um, this one right here is the one I'm hoping to make the biggest difference in my life with. And it's already got on it the two things that I have to do each day. Mm, so, um, like today, it's got the declutter and the water troughs on it. I'm not going to go and pre-fill in what my goal for each day is. My goal is to clean out a desk drawer, clean out a cabinet drawer, if, clean out something and get my life decluttered. Decluttered of material things that we don't need. Um, decluttered of things that make more work for me. Um, then when all that's done, guess what? I'm gonna have more time to garden and more time to cats climbing the door. Uh, more time to do all the things that I wanna do as I get older. I wanna make the farm self-sufficient. So in other words, I want it to do all the work for me and that I only have to worry about lambing season. Um, we've got that down pretty much, if you remember in the beginning, we had a lot of drama over the animals and learning and, and things happening. And now we're full. We have, we, we don't take in as many rescues. Um, we have everything kind of running on its own. We worm when we're supposed to, we, uh, no signs easier on things so that we just jump right in and, oh, his ears are down or, oh, he's got scoured. And we just know to do it and doctor it easier, um, which cuts down on the work later on for us. So, um, I've got a new trellis system, which I will include in these videos that I'm going to put in so that, um, the garden is more organized. We're going to get the herbs done. We're going to do a small personal garden. Um, I'm still planning on building the she hut out there where we can cook and just be away from each other. But in order to do that, I've have got to quit cleaning up after Lee and RJ every day. In order to do that, there's gotta be less stuff around here. I spend more time going behind Lee, cleaning up all the things that he leaves around, hence like this bar and this pop, and um, let's see here. He's left his cup, the pitcher, 
bottle of water, hand towel he wiped his hands on. Um, he ate breakfast. And all of that falls to me to clean up. Well, you know what? If it's his stuff, I'm going to start pointing it out to him. I'm going to get the bar cleaned off so that there's no confusion of who laid what down. Um, I do have some stuff down here at the other end. Um, this is going to be a water table right there. This is a tub that goes out to the barn. This is my basket for gathering um, things from the garden. And on the far side of that is my drum carter. And then um, there is a crate with all of the bottles, the baby bottles and nipples for the calves over there. So those things are all going to find homes so that I don't have to have them on the bar. Then when I come through, not only does it look neat and clean, I can, hey, whoever did this, get it out of here. So, and that's my plan. I know that sounds like I'm going to be gripey, but I am physically exhausted from always cleaning up after them. They're grown men and it's time for me to, to really take my life and do what I want with it. I want this farm. I want to live this self-sufficient life here. I want to do what I want to do and I don't want to have to be cleaning, 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 cleaning. I'm done with that. So um, if you're going to continue watching, that's great. It will include all the farm stuff that I do. I'm going to try and put together a video, um, the day, a day in the life kind of thing, showing you how I get through that first morning part. I have a feeling more things are going to go wrong than right. Um, just because anytime I plan something, it, it normally goes awry, but I'm going to stick with it. My spinning, when I do my samples and I have my uh, fiber study right here, when I do them, you're going to see them. They're not going to be just on Mondays. So when I spin them and do them, whatever day I do them, that's the day you're going to see them on. Um, I'm not scheduling anything. I'm going to try and vlog once a day without Sunday. Um, RJ is still going to podcast with me on Saturdays. Uh, except for this Saturday, it's Labor Day, and that means rodeo. So we're still going to keep the podcast, but Monday through Friday is going to kind of be my vlog kind of thing. So... Um, it'll include equipment that breaks down, you know, instead of doing a Tool Tuesday, you'll see the tools as we use them. So, um, a little more camera time. We'll see how it works out. We're going to try this for 30 days. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Uh, leave comments below of things you really want to see. I know people have been saying, hey, show us more of this, show us more of that. Um, those are going to be the times that I carry the camera with me more. Um, it's just my camera on my phone. So if you want to see more horses when I walk out to the barn, I will have the camera turned on more. There you go. So I'm hoping it will please everybody and we'll see how it goes 30 days and then we'll go from there and reevaluate it.